Katie Kerwin. Welcome to the Legacy Fitness Kitchen. So tonight we're going to be making some special tofu. Uh, a lot of people think that tofu is a little bit gross or unapproachable, but I have a way to make it and you are going to love it. But first, we have to start with the secret. And the secret is to drain the water out of the tofu. And what that does is when you bake it or fry it or grill it, it lets it become crispy on the outside and soft on the inside and that's what makes it taste awesome. Okay, so for the sauce, we're gonna have a little olive oil, ketchup, trust me, soy sauce, and garlic powder. So the first thing I'm gonna show you is how to drain it. So what I like to do is use two heavy casserole dishes like this. If you don't have casserole dishes, that's fine. Just set it out on a cutting board and use something heavy. You can even stack books on top of a plate to give it some weight, okay? So tonight we're cooking with firm tofu. You can get this at any grocery store. This one happens to be from Trader Joe's, okay? So what I've done is cut the top off, drained the water, and, well, now I drained it some more onto the floor. <laughs> <laughs> and I cut it into five pieces. That's another tip. Some people tell you to take the whole block of tofu and drain it like that, but what I like to do is slice it because that cuts down on some of the time. This is only gonna take like five to 10 minutes to drain it. Grab some paper towel. I'm gonna put a nice amount, fold it up so it fits into my pan. And like I said, I have five pieces because one, one serving size is one fifth of the container. And then I'm going to line up some more paper towel on the top. Then I'm going to take my other heavy casserole dish and just set them on top. So come back to me in five to ten minutes when you feel like your tofu has dried out a lot. And then I'm going to show you how to make the secret sauce and get started with the tofu. Okay, first thing, I want you to preheat your oven to 350 degrees because that's what we're going to bake the tofu at. So now we're ready to take this off. Get my paper towel off. It's really quite wet. I bet yours is too. Now I'm just going to quickly chop these with a knife right in my pan. I'm not too worried about scratching it. So I'm just going to cut it through the long way. Watch your fingers. And then the short way, because these are going to be nice little cubes. You don't have to get exact on this. All right, just set those aside. So now we're going to work on the sauce. Okay, so I just grabbed a big bowl. And like I said, these are ingredients. We have ketchup. We're going to add about two tablespoons of ketchup to the bowl. Second, we have a little olive oil. We're gonna do about one tablespoon. Then my favorite, which is soy sauce. It adds just a really nice flavor, aside from salt. So this happens to be light, so light soy sauce. You can use whatever you want, regular. You can use Bragg's, liquid aminos, whatever you have in the fridge. So we're gonna do about three tablespoons here. Okay, and last thing is the garlic. It's gonna be about a teaspoon. I'm just gonna shake it in, because in my kitchen we just shake stuff into the bowl and hope for the best, but this is gonna turn out great. Maybe go with half a teaspoon. And I'm just gonna mix it up with my fork and drop in the tofu. Okay, another secret. Instead of cooking it directly in my pan, I'm gonna line it with aluminum foil. It's just gonna make cleanup so much easier. Otherwise, it's gonna get all cooked on here and I don't have time for that. Spread them out so they can cook evenly. So what we're going to do is now stick them into the oven and we're going to aim for about 30 minutes to cook these guys. They're going to get all nice and caramelized and after about 15 minutes we're going to go and flip them over so they can be evenly cooked on both sides. So I am going to be serving these with riced cauliflower, also purchased from Trader Joe's because everybody loves Trader Joe's. You can make your own riced cauliflower in your food processor, just chop it up buzz it through the food processor a couple times and you'll get the rice. This is so easy to me and it's not really much more expensive in my opinion. So when we come back, you're going to see the final product. But like I said, 350 oven, 15 minutes, flip it, 15 more minutes. If you notice that it's starting to burn, you can cover it with some more aluminum foil and that'll take down the burning. See you soon. All right, it's finished. So my recipe for the cauliflower rice is that I just uh, sauteed it in a pan with some cooking spray, added some green onions and cilantro to jazz it up a little bit, and some soy sauce. And the tofu turned out awesome. It's a little crispy on the outside, just how I want it. 
And so this all together is just about 300 calories, like 24 grams of protein, 19 grams of fat, and just about 10 carbs. So it's on the lower carb side, a little bit higher on the fat, but if you adjust it to fit your own macro profile, it's gonna be perfect and it's gonna be delicious. So I hope you enjoy, thanks for watching.